So it's the 3rd of March and we are at the flea market in Geneva at Saint Palais and it's the first time since it has reopened and it's amazing. I have been here for three hours. I haven't even made it around um, for I've maybe like halfway, not even. And I've got so much stuff and I will show you what it is when I get home. Please subscribe and click on the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. So I came back from the flea market on Wednesday and it is now Saturday and I have waited really very impatiently to get everything out and to film it at the same time. It's sort of like an unboxing of my flea market on the 3rd of March 2021. The last things that I bought when I was at the flea market, literally didn't even put it in a bag, just carried it out, was this beautiful plate. It's a French plate. It's a Sarah Gamine and from the same guy this cake plate. The reason I bought this was because I have also a cake plate that is for like a loaf sized cake and I have it in my cupboard here and it's exactly the same image so I thought that would be really fun to have both together. Then I got also a little set for my dollhouse of little wicker furniture. Very exciting. Here we go. So this, I think that's really cute. I got that for eight francs. So I've got my girlfriends um, uh, when I or when I'm going out or something like that. I can give them. So I got a two of each color, and they were one franc each. So they're really fun because they're see-through. That's and then these were one franc as well each. So I got one of each color. Um, they're little carrying bags. And I thought, you know, when I'm buying a gift for somebody, instead of buying another kind of bag, they can have this. They can reuse it as well. Um, these little books, I have already some. I'll put a picture here as well. Um, they're all printed in Geneva. This one is Pensée Espagnole, so Spanish Thoughts. And this one is Pensée sur la musique, Thoughts Around Music. Um, and it's, it really is readable as well. I love these little books. And then this one I've never seen before. This one is Rousseau. And it's a little jet d'eau, which is the Geneva thing. And it's also a little printed book. And then I got this little, uh, I, think he, I think I paid, I think I paid one franc. I can't remember now. It's broken, but I can fix it. There's a, it's like a little brooch, but I think it will look good in the dollhouse as well. An elephant planter, but you have to admit that has a certain elegance to it as well. And... When I was at this guy's stand, he wasn't very friendly. I don't usually go to him. I didn't realize it was him. And he wanted 20 francs for this. And, uh, and I started to walk away. And he's like, put it on the expensive table. Have you ever seen one like it before? That kind of thing. And I said, look, um, I'm not interested for 20 francs. And he said, well, how much would you pay? And I said, 10. And he said, 15. And I said, look, why don't you just put it down there for now and let me look around and I might find some more stuff and then we'll discuss the price. So I was thinking in my head 10. Anyway, I'm walking around looking in the boxes and I find 15 francs, a 10 and a 5 in one of the boxes. So I, I bring it over to him and I say, I'm being very honest here, but I've just found this in your box. And he said, oh, thank you so much. So nice of you to be honest. And so when I went to pay, I found this as well. And I will show you why I bought this because I've got like a little mini collection of these. This is salt and pepper in a like a Chianti bottle set. I love it. I think that's really fun. Lucerne, it's a glass, like a ship's wheel with a Lucerne image in it. And then on the other side it has a compass. And it works because north is over there. So I thought that was fun as well. It has a little leather strap. And then at the same time, I found this little globe. I'll have a look under magnifying glass and see if it has anything on it. Because sometimes they say things on it that makes helps you date it. But it's metal. And I thought that was fun too. So he ended up giving me these three things for free. And I bought this for 10 francs. So it all worked out in the end. And I found this Bakelite pencil sharpener. It says it's made in West Germany. So it you know, it's old. And it has a nice pencil, sh pencil sharpener in it, the same brand as the bottom. Two jars. So these jars, I paid three francs for the two, which is a really good deal. 
and you can never have too many jars. I bought this, but I thought I could put it outside somewhere in the garden. So this is like a measuring ruler, it's, but it's miniature, so I thought, I mean, I do collect measuring things, so I thought this was really beautiful. It's centimeters, it's wood, and uh, I got that in the same pile from that person, and I got this. It's, it's a film guide if you're filming, but it's baby because it's small. Because I saw this, something on the side about the months, and I thought it was to do with baby, but that's probably to sh something with the light. This, this I would say is either a piece of ivory. I'll have to look under magnifying glass to see if it has any striations in it. So I looked it up, it's from Iran, and it's a painting, it's a hand-painted thing, and I have a bracelet that my dad gave me when I was little, and I put it in the dollhouse as well. Um, and I just, I just said, you know, just add that into the pile when I was paying, and I think in itself it's probably worth, I don't know, 20 francs. So this is a, um, it says pour les enfants sages. And I'm feeling like this maybe is what you would put your tooth in, but maybe not. Maybe it's just, it would be for um, something else. But it's a little souvenir box with a photo on it. And it's obviously old. This is a morning pin. Just being careful here. I had to piece it together. So it was a picture of a guy I found separately in the box. The glass was separate. The backing was separate. The brooch is missing the pin. But I will try and put something on the back there just to hold it together. And I'll put it with my collection of morning pins as well. There was a bag of crocheted and knitted, I think it's all knitted, doll clothes. Which normally I wouldn't need. But some of them look really small. And I do have some naked dolls in my thing. So, and look at this little hat. This one looks like it might go with this. Because it has a pom-pom. So this one has a hood and this one has a hat. So that's really small. I could definitely use some of these little ones. I got this really beautiful Caron Dash pencil box. I mean, it has pencils in it, but I'm not worried about the pencils. It's the image. This is really, really beautiful. And I have never in my life seen one like this before. It's a little harmonica in a little box as well. So this, this is new, but I'm going to put it in dollhouse. It's like a little game, like a hoop game where you throw the hoops around something. And then this I haven't looked in it yet, and it was open just a little bit, and I kind of looked in and I thought, oh, that looks interesting. I just threw it in, but I, honestly, you are discovering me discovering this now. This is basically what I saw when I was, I just, I just looked in and I saw this kind of thing, and I didn't know what it was, so let's just discover. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I can already see there's a little bag, and I can tell because I have the same one, is those little uh, bingo pieces. So they've got, there's some in the bottom of this. I'll just show you a few of what it looks like. So they're little numbers like that. That's amazing. It's a shame it didn't have the full set of, with the cards, but I have plenty in the other one. And this is like a little drawstring on it there. Okay. Yes, so we got croquet. So I was right, this is cute. It's not complete though. Let's see, it has one, two, but it'll make a nice display. This one needs to be put back together. But this looks old. I'm just thinking what material this is. It could be Bakelite. Another croquet. So you're going to have two for sure. And we have, well maybe it is complete. So we've got one, oop, one two, three, four. I need to get that to stay in. One, two, three, four. We have one bowl. Okay, I've got... Okay, so the, we've got different sticks that are missing. And then I think this is part... These are part of croquet, right? I'll have to check and see. There's a lot of them. They look like cribbage. But I think there's something to do with croquet, but maybe not. So what have I got here? I've got... Six, six of those, and they've got a hole through the top. You know what they look like? Uh, they almost look like those needles that you do for making lace. But again, it has a hole going all the way through the top. And we've got two of these, not sure what they are. 
I don't know, it does that have to do with croquet? It must, because it's got the same style thing on it. And then we've got two more of these, so there was five originally, and we're missing a wire, but I can replace that. And we have one bowl. I know it doesn't look like much, but I didn't pay much for it. I got like, I don't know, six items. Um, and I think I got, I think I got like ten items for seven, uh, seven francs, no, five francs. 10 items for 5 francs. It's like 50 centimes a piece. So the reason I got this is because it has a pin in it. And the, the newer ones all have wood. So I always think if I can find them with the metal pins, it's better. Um, just a little bowl, handmade bowl. Nothing special, but you never know when you're going to need one. And then an extra... I got, I got this this little pin here which I like to put in some of the items and I also got from the same guy this little world with the Swiss flag in it which is amazing and I wonder if I can't get this to hook onto it I'll have to see if I can hook that on and then it just is suspended so I'll put that here and then this is a key ring with a little pipe cleaner red and white Thing. I think it's a mascot. It could be like from a football thing. I'll have to check and see if this means anything. But I might remove the keychain if I if I really don't like it and it's not of any value. And then I can just put it as a little animal in the dollhouse. And then this is uh, this is one of the. I think it's the Swiss National Days. It's got a piece of tape on it, which is because it's come unglued. But I can easily glue that back. And it just has all the flags of the world around it. It could be for something else. I, it doesn't say anything about the Swiss National Day, so it might be something to do with the football because it has like a Brazil. I'll have to check that and see. Israel. I, I don't recognize all the flags right away, but it's metal. So that was part of that deal. This one is from the Swiss National Day. I have a little collection of them. It's a felt idol vice with the Swiss flag color ribbon. And then this has got two birds, one in flight and one sitting. It's a little pin. It's of no value in its in its metal. And then I got this for one franc. It's a crochet little flower. It's a metal brooch. Very nice. The correct presentation. Oh, this is also from that same thing. So this is a, another one with the Swiss National Day. And it has the world on it with a little Swiss flag and the ribbon. And it has something on the back. I can tell you the year. And I know I don't have this one. This is 1946. So I didn't have that one. I like it. And then I got these little dogs here. It's a celluloid brooch. Very nice. And I have another two dogs like that. So, I mean, this is probably from the 40s you know, 40s, 50s in itself. And then I got, this is obviously fallen out. Let's make sure I put it the right way up. So it's a 3D, well, I'll, I'll show it to you without putting it back in here because I think you'll see it better. It's 3D advertising. So when you move it, and it obviously goes in here. And I thought that was really fun. I think I paid one franc each for those. And I thought because I like the advertising in my dollhouse, this is probably from the 70s. And then this one also has a 3D. This is a Souchard, Sougousse, sorry. Yes, yeah, Souchard Sougousse, which is Swiss. And I love that. Isn't that cute? And then I got one more that is not 3D, but it is called... It's the Confiserie du Léman, and it has boats on the lake, same on both sides, and that's a local thing as well. So that, I think, now is everything. Thanks very much. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and click on the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos.